been asked by several neighbors to do a some weed abatement and so it's time to get this old tractor fired up it's probably been a year I've been very conservative about using it because it's wore out and you might be going I could tell by looking but no I'm talking about the internals of the motor after about an hour of use the oil pressure begins to taper off and it doesn't matter what additives or the weight oil it just has a tendency to do that it needs to be rebuilt um, the issue with this tractor is is not what you see on the outside it's what is going on on the inside and so uh, it definitely needs some attention and in our devotional today this is exactly what Moses is trying to get the people of Israel to realize is though even though on the outside their physical uh, condition has improved their heart really hasn't changed and so it says in Deuteronomy 8 2 and thou shalt remember all the ways which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee, to prove thee, and to know what was in thy heart, whether thou would keep his commandments or no. And so all of this was God trying to determine, or at least to show Israel, the condition of their own heart. And I think that that's kind of where we are a lot of times is that we get kind of defensive. I know... Uh, uh, one time a, a guy started really speaking poorly about this tractor and because it was my dad's I got a bit defensive and um, actually what he was saying was was right but I, I didn't like hearing it and so the nation of Israel definitely does not like hearing what Moses is saying but it is the truth now in today's devotional Thursdays it says remember and forget not and it starts out it says remember and forget not these are imperatives but the forget not is in the jessive so it the the individual speaking or writing this is very concerned about the people they're speaking to now he goes on to say how thou provoked the lord thy god to wrath in the wilderness from the day that thou did depart out of the land of egypt until you came unto this place you've been rebellious against the lord and so he's saying you need to know the condition that you're in you really need to know that because you're not moving uh where you need to move and in the rate you need to move because you're being held back by the own condition of your own heart and so this is one thing that we ought to do is is really contemplate and think about the condition of our heart and where we are uh because the engine is what motivates this our hearts what motivate us and so if you've got a new heart and you become a new creation second corinthians 5 17 then you'll have a brand new motivation and so your purpose will be very different what drives you through the day will be very different it won't be self it won't be the flesh it will be the spirit of god moving you in accordance with the word of god to do the work of god so god bless you thank you so much for tuning in i truly appreciate it